and good morning world it is sunday the 1st of september 2019 it's about eight o'clock in the morning and this is a sunday sermon and this time it's going to be a little bit more literal it is on the nature of faith now enough of you know me to know well enough that i'm not going to come across all pious religious or sacrilegious surprisingly but I do want to talk about the astrological background of what's going on today, but in a different way than normal. I want to question the nature of faith and belief. So when you look at the fact that we've got Jupiter, the planet that deals with knowledge, wisdom, hope, optimism and faith in Sagittarius, its own sign, and you've got Neptune, the planet that has its, is the most commonly linked with spirituality and our relationship with divinity, however we each choose divine as being in our lives. In Pisces, also its own sign, and that they're square to each other. With a square bringing, being an angle of um, discord and energies banging their heads against each other. So the very nature and the question of faith and belief at this time is pretty important. So when I'm talking about faith and belief, I'm not talking about belief in anything or anyone. I'm not talking about belief in God or, or Allah or Buddha or any type of faceless entity that the masses ascribe some sort of omnipotent divinity towards. Neither am I talking about faith in politicians because, well, in my country alone, politics is dying. But the democracy is over. Neither am I talking about faith in any type of material object, whether it be money, assets, property, guns. I mean, it does seem as if America is the most violent country in the world now. There's more shootings in America than there are in Mexico or Afghanistan or, or places like this. It's, it's common day, it's common day. It's regular now. So what is the nature of faith? What should we or could we still have faith in? Every time that we put faith into anything or anyone, we start believing that that thing is true. And indeed, there are many dogmas, theology, preachers, cults out there who want us to believe what they say. Whether that's because by believing what they say, that makes them stronger and more powerful in their own eyes, or whether it lines their coffers, but the obvious reverse of this is that the more you believe in something outside of yourself, the more the opposite of that belief can't be true. If you believe something strong enough, then anything outside that belief is impossible. So beliefs limit. Faith, on the other hand, I have faith that this is so. I have faith that this could be so or will be so. Then there is an implied self-belief here, a kind of self-generation. And really the only thing that one can be absolutely 100% sure of is faith in oneself. This is how I think. This is how I feel. And that's only transient. That's only how you think and feel at any given time. Neptune in Pisces is doing its very best to dissolve any type of orchestrated, consistent, regular or even traditional faith or belief system at the moment. And in a way, with the world being as, excuse me being crude here, you don't often hear me swear, but as batshit crazy as it is right now, perhaps the only thing we can truly have faith in is ourselves and our own judgment, knowing that that can change at any time. 
the longer I do astrological readings, and I, I know it sounds ridiculous, but I do do about between 800 and 1,000. I see about 800 to 1,000 clients a year. The more I recognize that, for, for example, obviously when I deal with a lot of clients, I'm gonna deal with a lot of similar patterns. So I must see about 20 or 30 people a year to whom Uranus in the sky is either conjuncting or opposing their Mercury. And that's when I use the term, you are changing your mind. And then I qualify it by saying, that makes it too easy. Instead, I say, you're not changing your mind, but your mind is changing. It's not what you think that's changing, it's what you think with, as in the abstracts, the concepts, the beliefs, the ideas, the opinions, the philosophies. This is what changes when Uranus is on your Mercury or opposite your Mercury. Translate that into the idea of faith. We can choose to believe. I choose to believe that this screen I'm looking at is real and that this message I'm trying to get across to the world is authentic. I could be kidding myself, but at this time I believe that I'm doing my best. If we all collectively try and do our best and try and be as authentic and real as possible by having faith in ourselves, confidence in our own ability to have good judgment, then collectively, this then takes us outside of the loop of needing something or someone else to believe in, which will hasten the decline of old, tired, worn out institutions, such as churches of all denominations, governments, the idea of a self-governing planet where we all take individual responsibility for our actions sounds a pipe dream. But it's certainly a gee, I can see how that could happen. But then it does require self-policing. And it also requires self-sanctioning. I'm, I'm stuck when it comes to the mechanics of how to work this, but I believe it can be true. Because at the end of the day, you have to ask yourself, without wishing to get too any more metaphysical than I already am, why are you here? What is your purpose? Now you can choose to buy into the old patterns and dogma of you're placed here by God or, or, or you're on the latest step in your reincarnatory path and it is your karma or, or any old fashioned nonsense like that. Or you can choose to believe that you volunteered to come here and that there is a purpose and you do have your mission statement that you are a volunteer on planet Earth in this dimension at this time in space. And if you choose to believe that, then you ultimately do end up taking responsibility for every single one of your actions, your thoughts, your emotions. And then you get on with the job. And then you become a better human being. And by becoming a better human being, you then inspire people around you to become a better human being. And thus the planet becomes a better place. And when we look around at the world as it is at the moment, where we're seemingly being guided down the plug hole by a bunch of incompetent, arrogant, conceited, unresponsible people who say, yes, we're fit to lead, but no, it's everyone else's fault when it all goes wrong. It's the Labour Party, it's the Democrats, it's the Muslims. Yeah, well, I suggest it's time for a new paradigm. And it ultimately starts in here. So when you ask yourself, what do I believe? Ultimately, the only thing you can truly believe in is in yourself, and that's changing all the time. But hopefully it's spiraling upwards, not downwards. And we evolve. And at the end of the day, what is the purpose of us being here? It is to evolve, not only ourselves, but the planet as well. Okay, I'm getting far too cosmic now. So I'm going to close this Sunday sermon down and I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Catch you later world. Bye.